Okay, what we have is the module seven ready to go on. Uh, quiz page 223, and we'll get started here with the first one. N plus seven is, uh, so N plus seven is less than negative three. To solve this one, what you do is you, you treat it like an equation where you need to do the inverse operation, that is subtracting seven from both sides, and you get N is less than, this ends up being negative 10. And that's your answer for number one. Pretty simple. Number two is 5P is greater than or equal to negative 30. So 5P is greater than or equal to negative 30. And for this problem, again, inverse operations. The inverse of multiplying is dividing. So you have to divide by 5 on each side of the inequality. And these cancel and p is now negative 3 divided by 5 is negative 6 and you don't switch the inequality because we divide it by a positive right there okay and next number three 14 is less than k plus 11 so 14 is less than k plus 11 treating this like an equation I would subtract 11 from both sides. 14 minus 11 is 3 is less than K. But what the textbook publishers are going to want you to do is they're going to want you to write the K first and the 3 second. And notice how it's open to the K right there. We're going to keep it open to the K. So it kind of looks like it was got flipped, but it really didn't. These two statements mean the exact same thing. Uh, number four, D divided by negative three is less than or equal to negative six. D divided by negative three is less than or equal to negative six. So the inverse, the inverse of dividing is multiplying. So we would multiply both sides by, both sides of that inequality by negative three. So I'll, I'll just, I'll multiply by negative three like that. When you divide by negative 3 and you multiply by negative 3, the actions cancel each other out. So you have D. And negative 6 times negative 3 is positive 18. I divided, I, I multiplied, sorry, I multiplied both sides by a negative. So that switches the direction of the inequality. And this is the final answer. Number uh, 5 is C minus 2.5 is less than 2.5. So I'm going to write that down. Uh, C minus 2.5 is less than or equal to 2.5. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, um, what we have is um, uh, two sides. You have to do the inverse operations as usual. You would add 2.5 to both sides. And these cancel. And C is less than or equal to, uh, that's going to be 5, right? That's pretty easy. Next, uh, 12 is greater than or equal to negative 3B. 12 is greater than or equal to negative 3B. Okay, so that's multiplication. I'm going to divide by negative 3 on both sides. Divide by negative 3. These actions cancel each other out. We have B. I divided by a negative, so I have to switch the direction of the inequality. And 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. And there you go. Uh, the next one, number 7. Let's zoom out for this one. So Jose has scored 562 points on his math test so far this semester to get an A for the semester. He must score at least 650 points, write and solve an inequality to find the minimum number of points he must score on the remaining test in order to get an A. Okay, well, what we would do is we'd say, well, he needs 562 points, or he has 562 points so far, and uh, he needs 650. He needs 650. So 
he needs at least 650. So let's bring this in here. Uh, that means the points that he earned, this is what he earned, has to be greater than 650, but it could be also 650. Okay. And then we will add uh, the other points that he needs. And the other points, let's call it uh, just N. And so this right here, this is the inequality. This is the inequality right here. And then we need to get the solution to this. Uh, so I should write 562 plus N is greater than or equal to 650. And I will subtract 562. N is greater than or equal to, uh, I think that's 88. And that's it. So this is the solution right here. So that's the solution. And that was our, in, our original inequality that describes this situation. And we have uh, another one here, <clears throat> number eight. During a scuba dive, Lainey descended to a point 20 feet below the ocean surface. She continued her descent at a rate of 20 feet per minute. Right in inequality, you could solve to find the number of minutes she can continue to descend if she does not want to reach more than 100 feet below the ocean surface. So she starts at 20 feet below. So she starts at 20 feet below. And then it says that she, she has a descent. So she's going down at a rate of 20 per minute. So she has a descent at 20 feet per minute. And let's call for an amount of minutes. So either M for minutes or T for time. Let me bring this in closer here. So she starts 20 feet below. She descends 20 feet per minute for so many minutes. And the trick here is she doesn't want to go more than 100 feet below the surface, which means if we have 100 feet below the surface is negative 100. But we want this to be higher than this, which means this has to be greater than or equal to because she, she could go 100 feet below, but she, we want this to be higher uh, uh, and increase value. So there you go. There's our inequality right there. Number nine, 2s plus 3 is greater than uh, 15. 2s plus 3 is greater than 15. Uh, so I got to subtract 3 from both sides of the inequality. 2s is greater than 12. Divide by 2. And uh, s is greater than 6. There you go. There's that one. Number 10, number 10, I guess I'll write 10 here. Uh, number 10 is uh, this negative with a D in front, uh, 12 minus six is less than one. So uh, we have, uh, uh, what I would do is I would add six to both sides. I have D divided by 12 with a negative in front is less than seven right there. And then what I would do is I would put the negative, I would just put it right there. So really it's D divided by negative 12 is less than seven. And uh, now what I have is um, I have to multiply by negative 12 here. By the way, I can put that negative anywhere I want, top, middle, bottom. Putting it on bottom is gonna help me solve this a little bit faster. And um, so these would cancel, but I have to multiply by negative 12 on the other side too, right? So seven times negative 12 is negative 84. And I multiply by a negative, so I have to switch the direction of the inequality. And then I have D right there. So that is our answer for that one. Uh, number uh, 11, what does 11 say? 11, so, oh, whoops. 11 says negative uh, 6w minus 18 is greater than or equal to 36. So negative 6 uh, minus uh, w minus 18 is greater than or equal to 36. So I have, uh, I'm going to add 18 to both sides. I have negative 6w is greater than or equal to 54. Divide by negative 6. 
right? Because we're just treating this like an equation. Divide by negative 6. These cancel. W divided by negative, so you have to switch the direction of the inequality. So that's going to equal to 9. There we go. 11. Uh, let's go with number 12 is z divided by 4 plus 22 is less than or equal to 38. So number 12, z over 4 plus 22 is less than or equal to 38. Okay. Uh, oh, oops. So we have, um, we have to subtract 22 from both sides. What, that's going to be 16. Z divided by 4 is less than or equal to 16. And oh, don't you want to make that 4? Don't you want to call it 4? But 4 divided by 4 is not less than or equal to 16. So, or it is. But, uh, yeah, it is, huh? But what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by 4 to get all those solutions. But we have to multiply by 4 on this side. So Z is less than or equal to... 16 times 4, which is 64. And that is that one. Okay, number 13. Number 13, b divided by 9 minus 34 is less than negative 36. So number 13, b divided by 9 minus 34 is less than negative 36. Okay. So we would add 34, all those inverse operations happen in less than, uh, what, negative 2? And then since that's division, I would multiply both sides and by 9. And B is, don't have to switch the sign because I multiplied by negative. That one right there. Uh, multiply by positive, sorry. And negative times positive is negative. So that should be it. B is less than negative 18. And we have number 14. Number 14 is this one here. Negative 2p plus 12 is greater than 8. So number 14, negative 2p plus 12 is uh, greater than 8. Okay, so I would subtract 12. <laughs> subtract 12 from both sides. Negative 2p is greater than... Uh, what, 20? And then uh, I would divide by negative 2. These cancel, those cancel, this cancels. And uh, P, since I divided by negative, I have to switch the direction of the inequality, and 20 divided by negative 2 is negative 10. So P is less than, I think I made a mistake on this. Let's try this again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, made a mistake. Whew, boy, am I glad I caught that one. Plus 12 is greater than 8. Yeah, if you subtract 12, hello, negative 2p is greater than negative 4. And then you divide by negative 2. And p is less than negative positive 2, huh? Yeah, positive 2. All right, positive 2. Because negative divided by negative is positive, And it'd be 2. Okay, so for our last one here, it says, how can you recognize whether a real-world situation should be represented by an equation or an inequality? So I'm going to write this in real time here. Uh, look for key words uh, that indicate... That indicate inequality. That indicate inequality, such as, such as, um, like uh, greater than. Eight. Okay, I'm going a little bit. G R E A T E R greater than. Um, less than. Uh, at most, or at least. And that's it. So that's your module seven ready to go on. 
I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.